told me we love books on this show uh, and uh, what books have you read that you'd want to share with our viewers at, uh, at, at home? Apologies to the non-Christian community. The first book that has changed my life is the Bible. Uh, the Bible just has so many nuggets. Um, it's ancient wisdom. You get anything that you actually go through, somewhere in the Bible it's talked about. So it's just like an important guide in in life that um, you never you never go wrong with. For fact, like my brother, when I went to university, printed out the Ten Commandments for me and gave them to me and said, um, "If you keep God's law, you keep your life," and it, that is very true. Like the Bible fights in your corner, and you you get to learn and understand a lot of things, and sometimes get confused as well but it's plenty times <laughs> yeah. i mean i read the bible every day you know yeah yeah, yeah. but it do, does have um, a lot of good precepts um then the other book that i think is very good to read is the 12 rules for life by jordan peterson mm. i made reference to mm. it before um it talks about just these 12 12 rules like uh fix your posture. Once you walk into a room, confident people assume you know what you're doing. Um, um, master your own craft before trying to get into other people's uh, craft. So that like your comparison, you're comparing, the best comparison you have is not someone else's life. The best comparison you have is your own life. The person you were yesterday talks about teach your children to abide by society's rules or society is going to teach them. Uh, talks about you need to accept that gender inequality. You need to inequality. accept that inequality actually exists. exists. Um, it and do something about it, I suppose. Yeah, and mm. do, and actually understand. So once you understand how inequality exists, you know how to deal with yeah. it. It also even says that you need to define your problems so that you can deal with them. So once a problem is no, you can deal with it. And then um, the um, other book is, I think. Uh, tiny habits, mm -hmm. small things, small changes that change everything. By I think it's for I don't remember his tiny name. Tiny habits, okay. Yeah, it's called tiny habits. Small changes that change everything. It talks about how uh, for any change to happen, there needs to be motivation. Like you want to do it, uh, which is like your why. Um, there needs to be ability, and also sometimes there needs to be something that triggers mm. the change. And then you need to make changes in small steps, it's more sustainable than just waking up and wow. thinking and someone else. So those are the three books. Great I books. I mean, the Bible I read every day. Um, the two books, the other two books we've yeah. mentioned I haven't read. So I must get hold of them. Yeah, thank, thank <laughs> you, you so should. much.